Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve complex equation. For this case, we can treat it as quadratic equation. Recall that if we have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, which means that the root x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And for this case, a is equal to 1, b equal to 4, c equal to 16. And we should treat x as z squared. And this is equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16 divided by 2 times 1 and this is equal to minus 4 divided by 2 we have minus 2 plus minus 4 squared minus 4 times 16 is square root of negative 48 and we divide 2 recall that if we have negative 1 and this is equal to i squared so which means that for this case we can rewrite z squared as minus 2 plus minus square root of 48 i divided by 2 and we know that 48 is equal to 3 times 16 which means that if we take square root of both sides we should have square root of 3 times 4 by using the law of indices so this is equal to minus 2 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 so we have 2 times 3 i Next, let's solve for the first z square. We let z square be equal to w, where w is equal to minus 2 minus 2 times square root of 3i. And this is in the form of rectangular form, and we should first convert to polar form, which is in the form of rc data. And r is equal to the modulus, so we have square root of x squared plus y squared. x is negative 2 since we have squares so which means that plus minus is not really important so we can simply take the positive value and we add 2 third 3 the whole thing squared and this is equal to 4 and for theta is the argument which is our tangent y divided by x which is negative 2 third 3 divided by negative 2 and this is equal to our tangent set 3 and we know that our tangent set 3 is equal to 60 degree but then we must always refer to the values that we have in the complex number from here we can see that this is negative value for x and negative value for y and if let's say we refer to the cartesian plane this will only be fulfilled if the line fall on the third quadrant which is here and the 60 degree must be here and we know that this line is 180 degree and we should extend about 60 degree to obtain this line so in other words the anchor the theta must be equal to 180 degree plus 60 degree which is 240 degree and we should now conclude that rc theta is equal to 4 times c is 240 degree since we let z squared be equal to w and w is equal to 4 6 240 degree which means that z is equal to 4 6 240 degree to the power of 1 over 2 and by using the Morphous theorem we know that we should have two roots and the first root is equal to 4 to the power 1 over 2 times 6 240 degree should be divided by 2 which is 120 degree and this is equal to 4 to the power uh, 1 over 2 is square root of 4 which is 2 and we times c is c is here c stand for cos for the real part so we have cos with the degree 120 plus i the imaginary part we have s which is sine 120 degree and this is equal to 2 times negative 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 i and all the words the first root is equal to negative 1 plus 3 i before we move on to the second root let's consider if we complete one rotation for a circle we should have 360 degree but then we have two roots here so which means that this value must be shared evenly for the two roots and we should obtain 180 degree each and all this when we move to the second root we should have 
4 to the power 1 over 2, the angle should increase by 180 degree, which means that we have 120 degree plus 180 degree, which is 300 degree. And this is equal to 1 minus square root of 3 i. We have obtained two roots from the first sec square and we're supposed to repeat all the steps here to obtain the remaining roots from the second sec square. However, if you refer to the question, we have only even powers. In other words, the roots must be a set of conjugate. So what we have to do here is just obtain the conjugate from the existing root. So for the third root is equal to we have minus 1 plus change to minus and we we have square root of 3i and now we have the fourth root which is equal to 1 change minus 2 plus square root of 3i and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching have a like this see you